Good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes. How are you? Ma'am, fine. Okay. If you are coming, Bavish will not come. If Bavish is coming, you are not coming. Okay, how was your test? Hello, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I am not given. Am I not? Yeah, how was, how was your test? test? Yeah, I know you have not given. That's why I asked this question. Why? Ma'am, I year? don't. Why you have not given? Why you yes. don't know? Yes, ma'am. Why? Why? The classes also, right? Some some of the classes you didn't attend also before. Ma'am, because my parents out of station. Okay, okay, fine. So how will you cope up with that lesson? Like with the chapter, we have almost completed the like thing one by third of the chapter. So did you read the book? Did you go through the book or you want me to conduct some classes for you? Okay, ma'am. Will you cope up? Yes. You will cope up, right? So yes. we will do a thing. Uh, we'll have a live test. Like uh, I have conducted. I I was about to conduct this to seventh standard. Like this test will be live in the class. Okay, we will conduct that kind of test so that we will understand how much uh, you are getting the concept. Like you know till now. Okay. So for that test, I will tell you when is the test. Uh, you can prepare the time. Okay. Hello, any? I think uh, some internet issues. Hello, hello. Hello, your voice is breaking. Am I audible now? Uh, internet issues with uh, from your side or my side? You're muted. Come here, sir. Mommy, me your side. Okay, I don't know. Okay, let me see. Now, can you hear me properly? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we'll go to the class. So, I'll uh, we will discuss the questions. Okay, we will discuss the questions of the test because you will get an idea. So, yeah, you you have not attended the test, but it's okay. We will uh, at least we will have the idea of the test, right? Yes, ma'am. I'll share my screen. I hope you can see the screen, right? Yes, ma'am. So, can you see the first question? How can you effectively separate iron filling from sand in a mixture? No. Mama. Can you see the question? Yes, ma'am. 
Did the answer is there? Like that uh, green color one is the answer. But can you guess the answer? Like can you relate it? That how can you effectively separate iron fillings from sand? The answer is using magnets. You know the reason, right? How how can we separate? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Somebody is helping you. <laughs> Which of these mixtures yes, can be separated? Second. Look, you see the second question. Which of these mixtures can be separated? The answer is only three. Milk and water, uh, sand and salt, oil and water. See, the direct question is like, you can separate oil and water also. And you can separate sand and salt also. But you know, Bhavesh has not given right answer for this question because... According in the class, I have told him like I have not taken him how to separate oil and water that uh, with the help of decan decan uh, decantation, we can do that. Okay, I didn't teach him. Okay, but I just gave an idea like you can separate oil and water also. I just gave the idea in the class, but uh, he thought like he gave the wrong answer actually. But I, I asked him in the point of view like directly. Like you with the help of uh, hand picking or easy method to separate his iron fillings and sugars, sugar, right? With the iron filling and sugar, you can separate them with the help of magnets. See, today in today's class, we will see how to separate oil and water also. We will see how to separate sand and salt also. Okay. So you can actually the answer for this like two, three and four, all of them can be separated. But I have asked him in the class point of view, whatever I thought in the class, I asked in that point of view has given the wrong, a wrong answer actually. Can we obtain butter by churning milk? What's your answer? Here it's true. I'm true. True. Do you know what is mean by churning? Mamu, churning milk. Uh, to be more precise, churning milk. What do you mean by churning milk? Getting, getting. Churning in the sense, like uh, today after this class, you go and ask your mother. You know that we can uh, we can get uh, butter by churning the milk. Churning in a sense, like you have something like this. I'll show you that stick. Sure. See something like this you will have. Yeah. Can you see this? You will see. Yes. In, you can you see, have you seen this in your home? Have you yes. Got, have you, yeah, this one. See, if yes, you do okay. prolong, if you prolong this process of churning like this, the milk, then eventually I will get butter. Okay, that is the old one of the old process by which our ancestors used to get butter from them by churning them. Like they go for a long time, you will get the butter eventually. Okay, so that is that that was my question. Like, uh, can you obtain butter by churning milk? The answer is true. So, method of dash can be used by separating slightly larger part, larger impurities like piece of dirt, stone, husk from wheat, rice or pulse. So, this one like we had discussed this in last class, like method of hand picking, sieving, plowing is like not related to this, right? What is hand picking? Do you know what is hand picking method? Do you know what is, am I audible? Do you know what is hand picking method? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, can you explain me what is hand picking? Yeah, it's if it, if it is wrong also fine because you were not there in the class. So I'm just asking you to guess it. Can you guess it? No, ma'am. See, hand picking is very easy. With the help of word hand picking only, you can define this term. You know, whenever you can separate certain things with the only with the help of your hand. Okay. For example, I'm giving you the mixture of, I, I'm giving you a bowl. In the bowl, you have some uh, vegetables and fruits. I'm asking you to separate them. 
into two categories fruits and vegetables how will you do simply you will see that you will pick it from your hand you will separate the fruits and vegetables into two different parts i mean in the two different categories how you are doing simply by hand right so whenever you can do the separation simply with the help of your hand by picking them and categorizing them into two different or three different or four different categories simply with the help of your hand no need any uh, big process or no need any big big things big properties to separate just with the help of your hand if you can separate some things then you can simply call them hand picking but when can you do hand picking when the when the nature of the object is somewhat big right so if i am telling you separate the sand from soil sorry sand from salt can you do with the help of your hand can you pick the salt and put it in a separate container can you separate salt and sand with the help of your hand no ma just with the help of no you need some some things you need okay some some things some process is required something is required if i am telling you separate oil from the water can you do with only with the help of your hand no yes ma right but if i am telling you separate from vegetables i'm giving you a bowl separate the so fruits from vegetables if i'm touch yes sir so that is the definition that you have in this okay the method of dash uh, that hand picking can be used for separating slightly lost impurities like piece of dirt stone husk from wheat so if i'm giving you rice bowl some bowl of rice raw rice like not boiled one okay rice stones are there in that i am asking you to separate the stones you can easily separate stones will be big large in size you can pick them from the rice and separate right right yes sir hello am i audible are you listening yes ma'am are you listening what's yes, uh, i forgot your name what is your name i'm tani tani okay ma'am okay fine So this is the fifth question. You might have eaten salted dhalia or poha, right? You found that it had chilies in it. You may have carefully taken them before eating. So this process is called separation. Like right? simple example of separation. Why I had given this thing is because this line is there in your NCERT book. So, so that like it's direct line from your NCERT book. So this will be helpful for you in exams also. So what is separation? simple definition of separation whenever you need to separate some things whenever there is a need then only separation will be there in this situation you are you are eating something very good delicious food some chilies are coming in between that that is a disturbance right you don't want to eat chilies so you pick the chilies from the food and keep it aside this is a simple separation we are doing in day to day life right that is the definition of separation how would you separate mangoes from guavas if they are mixed together in a basket mam hand picking hand picking so why why it's hand picking why not its other options one minute mam Ma'am, because guava can be touched. Guava can Mom, be. Can be touched. Can be. That's because it can be touched, so that you are doing it with the help of hand picking method. Okay, fine. Yes, that is right. Actually, you can see the mangoes and guavas. They are large in size. you can easily pick them with your hand and separate them into two different things. You don't want any big such process to separate them. If you are given a mixture of salt and sand, what method would be suitable to separate them? So this is evaporation. Actually, we have not discussed evaporation in the class, but actually, Bhavesh has given a right answer. See, I because I have uh, discussed this process in the class. I have given this as an activity. See, you you take a glass, okay? You take a glass. You put salt and sand in that, okay? And I am mixing it with the help of water. after some particular time you will observe that salt has been completely dissolved in the water right salt has been completely dissolved in the water but sand will be there sand particles will be there but salt will be dissolved so now how to separate them now if you heat that uh, till the water gets completely evaporated if you heat 
thus you separated sand and salt, right? Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that, that's one of the hot question. A choti question, high rod of thinking question. So what method is used to separate tea leaves from uh, liquid while preparing trees? Training. So have you ever saw preparing tree in your uh, home? Yes. So how, how do they prepare after preparing tea? We don't eat the tea leaves or strains of the tea. We only drink the tea, right? Whatever yes. the sediments that are there, we filter it out. We take it out. So that process is straining. You can say filtering. Filtering is a formal word. Or straining is the word, okay? And this, I don't know, by mistake, like I have given an image, I given this image only, that the image that is in your book. I have given the image that is in your book. This image I have given him. Uh, I think so, this churning. But that is not a God proper, some error God. So he has given no, no idea there. <laughs> Actually, the, I have given image. What is this image? What is this image? Ma'am, he is churning me. Yes, I have given that only to him, actually. I have given churning, okay? So, which of the following best describe the primary reason for separating substances? This is actually the line is there in your NCRT book. What is the main purpose of separation? In each and every separation, we see some substances useful, some substance will not be useful. Either separated substances will be useful or separated substances will not be useful, will be thrown as waste. In some cases, both uh, will be useful. Can you give me a best example like where both are useful? For example, you're uh, straining tea. After preparing tea, uh, we can throw the strains of the tea, but still that tea powder the tree strains can be used as a natural manure do you know that yes ma'am do you know that the tree strains can be used as a natural manure right yes. they can be used as a natural manure you have some plan home after straining the tea the tea the tea strains can be uh, put into the plant put in the roots of the plant so that it will act at it will act as a great natural manure so basically what is the primary reason for separating the substances to remove harmful or non-useful substances? That is the basic thing. Okay, now we will we'll go to the PPT. Hope you can see my screen, right? One second, be, be there, right? Can you see the screen? Rina, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Why did you turn off your video? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, one minute. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Are you are you understanding whatever we are talking in the class? Yes. Are you understanding? Yes, right. Yes. Okay. So today, actually, lecture four. Separation of substance. We have already completed three lectures. Uh, if you have any doubt, you're always free to ask me. Okay, whenever you message me, I'll reply you. Or you can also ask me in the classes or whenever you want because three lectures you have missed it. So all the three are very important. We have discussed about binoing, 
seeing seeing today we'll discuss knowing uh, like we've discussed some good process so i'm i'm ta- i'm asking you to read those things you are very important and we will also have an in class quiz live quiz right not like the sunday ones we will have a live quiz in the class okay i'll okay, say ma'am. that once bhavesh also comes so today we will see also until yesterday class we have seen uh the normal winnowing process and all okay threshing winnowing uh these two process we saw so today we will continue with sieving sedimentation decantation and filtration okay and i'll tell you see bavej has uh, listened the class good if there is no like but there is some point like in the examination i feel like he got uh no he got uh, like he could he could not find the difference he got confused so it's very important to read your book after the class immediately whatever we are seeing in the class go read the book immediately after the class right so yes sieving so what is sieving what is sieving sieving is a process very simple process day to day life have you ever saw your mom uh, taking the floor in a kind of uh, fill like in a kind of bowl and she will be doing like this so that you know the floor will come down and the dust particles will remain on that sieve only have you ever yes, seen that yes. have you seen that yes sir that is, that is simply sieving see bring a sieve and this is a this is this is what i thought uh, mom you now sieving yeah yes. you have have you seen in your home mom doing this yes ma'am yes so this is a simple process of sieving bring a sieve so what is sieve the bowl that green color bowl that you are seeing no with uh, from which your mom will do the sieving that is sieve that the name of that kit is sieve okay bring a sieve and a small quantity of flour from home you can take wheat flour maida flour anything to the class okay you can do this activity if you know you can do now or like if you prefer you can do after this class okay sieve the flour yes. to separate any so if you do like the small little bit little bit if you shake you will observe the flour is coming down Yes, Fine ma'am. particle of flour is coming down, right? And after few hours or few minutes, if you see, the dust particles will remain in the sieve itself. Only the flour particles would have come down, right? So sieve the flour to separate the impurities. So by that, by which the sorry, with that method we separate the sieve and the flour. Sorry, the dust particles and the flour, right? Now make a fine powder of chalk paste. See now, now listen. Now the next question is. make a fine powder of chalk pieces okay take the chalk pieces make it grind them make it fine pieces and you now mix with the flour okay before it was like some small stone particles would have been there in the wheat some dust particles would be there in the wheat okay we we with the help of sieving process we have filtered out the wheat or the flour from the dust particles now i am telling you uh, take fine chalk paste powder and mix that with your wheat flour wheat flour will also be white chalk powder will also be white right mix them both can we separate the flour and the powder chalk by sieving now can we separate yes ma'am can you can we separate yes ma'am what what uh, what can we separate ma'am what i asked you some question right Ma'am, please tell me again. Can we? So I was explaining you about sieving method. So I asked you whether have you seen the method sieving in your home? Okay, you are doing it or not? And I told you to take flour in the sieve in the bowl, like a green color sieve bowl, and try to separate them. When you separate, the flour will come down. impurities yes, will ma'am. be stuck on the flow uh, sieve only right so yes. now i am asking you can we do this if i if if i mix the chalk powder if i mix the chalk powder into the floor yes ma'am and now if i am asking you can we separate them with the help of sieving can yeah. we do that what can we do that 
yes sir we can do that okay i am asking you can we separate the flour and the chalk powder ma'am your voice is not I'm audible asking you hello am i audible now yes ma'am so i am asking you the question here i am asking your opinion what do you think can we separate the flour and the powder chalk by sieving yes. method we can separate your your point is like we can separate so now do you have chalk pot chalk pieces in your home yes ma'am and any flour wheat flour maida flour any flour do you have yes ma'am do you have the sieve bowl green color yes, sieve bowl Take all the no. three and come. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma'am, but the green color ka. तो नहीं है। यू डोंट हैव अ सीविंग सीविंग थिंग इन योर होम। यस मैम हैव। यू डोंट हैव। यस। यू डोंट हैव और यू हैव। यस मैम हैव। यू हैव। यस मैम। देन यू हैव यू टेकन ऑल द थ्री चॉक पाउडर वीट फ्लोर और राइस फ्लोर और माइडा फ्लोर और द सीविंग बाउल। यस मैम। द आई थिंक यू आर क्लियर र Your uh, the saving bowl, how it looks, you know, right? Yes, ma'am. See, it looks like this. See, like this. You have like this only, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Have you taken? See this one. Yes, ma'am. So now ma you put the chalk into powder, fine powder. Ma'am. I, uh, give me two minutes. Okay. Are you there, or mixing? Yes, ma'am. I am. Uh, did did it chalk powder? Fine chalk powder. Did you mix the flour and the chalk powder? Ma'am, no. ma'am, no, I do. Okay, you do. You take the time.
small amount is enough like no need to mix a large amount just one spoon or two table two to three tablespoon is enough Complete it? No, ma. Turn on the video and show me. You can show me, right? Turn on the video and show me. I'll tell you. Yes, mom. Yeah. Mom, complete होने वाला। What what? I'm complete हो गया। Completed. Uh, so now open the video and show me. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Did the sieving? You're muted. You're muted. Remember? Yeah. Did... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did, did you separate chalk powder and flour? Yes, ma'am. But to. Uh... Yes. Did you separate chalk powder and flour? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You you separated both chalk powder and flour. Got separated. Yes, ma'am. Really? Show me. Ma'am, I'm just. I'm just. Did I not? No, ma'am. Okay. Okay, see here. Listen here. Unmute. You can continue this. You can continue doing this after this class and tell me the results, okay? In the next okay. class. Right. Whether can you separate chalk powder and flour with the help of sieving method? Did you understand what is sieving? Yes, ma'am. 
What is saving? Can you explain me? Ma'am, 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 my mother do F, S, S. Okay, okay. That the process of separating the dust yes. from dust particles from the floor. You can take an example of floor. It a process yes. of separating dust particles from the yes. floor. So here the important point you have to understand is through this activity. That is why I am telling you to do this activity and see. And tell me the results. Did you separate the chalk powder and floor? Okay, ma'am. Chalk powder, you need to make such that the floor, sorry, the chalk powder is very, very fine. The wheat floor and the chalk powder should be of equal size. There should be no differences. It should be very powdery. Okay? Okay, ma'am. And I'll ask you the results in the next class. And with the reasons, you have to explain me. But also, you have to do the experiment and send me the photos. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Yes. So, I think it's already time up. But uh, we will discuss. Sieving is, see, this is what I said you. Sieving is used when components of a mixture have different sizes. See, the floor can be separated from the dust particles because dust particle size is not same as the floor. Right? Floor yes, uh, is very, very fine when compared to dust particle stones, small, small things can be separated with the help of sieving because... Stone particles are different in size. Stones and wheat both are of different different sizes, right? So now we are uh, activity is to separate the wheat flour from the flour, uh, chalk powder and tell me the reasons. The next class. So this is the key point. Saving is used when components of a mixture have different sizes. It is not used in all the cases, right? So sedimentation and decantation we will see in the next class because we have sedimentation and decantation and uh, we have some activities based on that and then we'll have uh, we'll have so filtration and all other process. So it's like we will see in the next class because you have also joined the class a bit late, some 10-15 minutes late. So uh, tomorrow we will see. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Do not forget to do this experiment and send the photos. Okay, ma'am. And also share me the result in the next class. I'll ask you. Okay? Okay, ma'am. And also after this class, go uh, to your NCRT book and read each and every line. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, bye. See you. Bye, ma'am.